the debate between actively managed and passively managed funds has been going on since the dawn of time. Okay, maybe not that long, but it's been an ongoing debate for many years. In this video, I'll explain why the debate is over and actively managed funds are the clear loser. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Money. I'm Pat Zumbush, your YouTube CFP professional. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos as any ad revenue this channel receives is donated to financial literacy charities throughout America. Do you see any empty chairs behind me in this video? That's because I only invited informed investors to join me for a debate about whether to invest in actively or passively managed funds. No one showed up because knowledgeable investors know that actively managed funds are just plain dumb. Boom, roasted. Before I explain why actively managed funds do not work well, let me quickly explain what an actively managed fund is. When a fund is actively managed, an individual or a professional management team selects investments to include in your portfolio. Conversely, a passively managed fund merely follows some market index. Sure, actively managed funds certainly sound better, especially to the average person who has no idea about investing. Who wouldn't want to invest with someone who says things like, hey, I'm gonna get you in the right stock before it goes up, and I'm gonna sell the one that will go down before anybody else knows it. Or the market will shortly be going down, so let's cash out now to avoid losing money. Be honest with yourself. You have to admit that having a professional time the market for you sounds unbelievably tempting. It plays to our greatest fears, and that's why it sells. But I will give you my top four reasons why you should avoid actively managed funds. Number one, transaction fees and taxes. The turnover of an average active fund is somewhere around 100%. That means the stocks held at the beginning of the year are entirely different from the ones held at the end of the year. For every sale and purchase, you must cross the buy-sell spread have some amount of cost or friction for transaction fees, and finally, you have to pay taxes on whatever gains you have. Keeping with the theme of cost-related reasons why investing in actively managed funds is a bad idea, let's move on to item number two. Investors pay the fund manager's salary. Actively managing a fund is an extensive human effort and humans cost money. Every fund or ETF has a manager, but the best active managers make millions of dollars annually because they earn fees for managing investments and the performance of those investments. The better the fund performs, the more money the money manager makes and the less you're earning because your earnings help pay for the fund manager's exorbitant salary. According to Morningstar's 2020 U.S. Fund Fee Study, the average expense ratio for actively managed funds was 0.62% compared to only 0.12 for passively managed funds, or about five times more. The expense ratio eats up the average investor's earnings when using actively managed funds. Number three, the emergence of new laws and technology. Back in the day, okay, not that far back in the day, the analyst who was first in line got the best data because there were fewer rules on who could whisper, i.e. insider trading. If the information was made public, technology was inadequate to spread it rapidly. Thankfully, an SEC rule called Full Disclosure 2000 came into effect after the dot-com bust and said a publicly traded company must share all the data simultaneously with everyone or someone is gonna to go to jail for insider trading. Also, investors can rapidly acquire new information thanks to the internet and social media platforms like Twitter. My fourth reason you should avoid investing in actively managed funds is simple. Investing is cutthroat and competitive. Currently, there are about 10 million traders in the world. Anytime you have hundreds of people trying to win a game, it's competitive. When you have tens of thousands, it's even more complex. When you have millions, it's almost impossible. While it is true that as passive investing spreads, the overall market becomes less competitive, we are still talking about millions of investors in the overall market. Investing is hard. It is hard to save, it's hard to allocate your portfolio correctly, and it's hard to be disciplined. You don't need to add the very low odds of adopting an active management philosophy to it if you want to be successful. Data has established that a full passively managed index lineup beats an actively managed lineup 
98 to 99 percent of the time over a time period that applies to almost everyone. Those are crazy favorable odds to keep in mind if you want to succeed financially. There you have it. Those are my four reasons to avoid actively managed funds. Check out my video next week and I'll discuss the advantages of passively managed funds. If you enjoyed this video and thought it was valuable for teaching you more about personal finance and investing, just hit the like button and please share the video with your friends and family. And if you want more money tips, subscribe to the channel for new videos weekly. Thank you for letting me help you do wise things with your money.